Hi, everyone. Welcome to the Hellenic Film Society's sneak peek behind the scenes at our 2024 New York Greek Film Expo. The Hellenic Film Society, Jimmy Demetro is here with us. I'm Mary Miles, and we're going to be perhaps reviewing some of these films. A little bit of Siskel and Ebert for those that are old enough to recall who those uh, fine gentlemen are. I don't know who's going to be who, though. Am I Siskel or am I Ebert? We'll find out. Time will tell. <laughs> Time will tell. Um, so we are very excited this year about the films we're presenting. They are the most recent films out of Greece. And most of them premiered at the Saloniki Film Festival last fall. So we are bringing them to you hot off the presses. Uh, many of them are award winners and highly lauded films. And two of them are written, directed, and, and led by women. So we're particularly excited about that. Yeah, so I think films. we should just go through this in alphabetical order well, because that would be a fair thing. Nine feature films in all and uh, 13 screenings. And uh, I, I too am excited about the uh, the films. I think it's a very, very strong uh, list. And uh, I'm uh, very excited about bringing these films to New York audiences. So let's kick it off with Animal. I guess that would be the first, you're right. And it does happen to be one of the two films you mentioned, uh, directed... Uh, by a woman and uh, very, very much uh, a, uh, uh, a plot involving uh, a particular woman at a crucial time of her life. This is a story of uh, a modestly talented entertainer at a kind of second rate uh, uh, resort hotel. And uh, this is years and years of, of working there. And this is the crucial summer where she begins to feel that her body is, is uh, betraying her and that it's time to give it all up. Uh, clearly, there's a younger generation just waiting on the sidelines to take over. And uh, the thing about this film, Mary, you know, it, it's won so many awards everywhere it plays. Just about every festival uh, it, it is shown at, it comes away with awards. It very well, as you know, in Thessaloniki, it was the first Greek film in, what is it, I think 30 years. 30 yeah, years. that won the international competition uh, at the festival. And uh, the actress to the lead actress as well, Dimitra Vlagobulu, uh, also mm -hmm. won a uh, Best Actress Award in the international competition. Tell us what you think of the film, Mary. <laughs> you, uh, well, it's written as, and as a, as a by, woman. Certainly. Um, it's written and directed by Sofia Exarhu, starring Dimitra Vlagopoulou, as we said. Um, it was nominated for 14 Hellenic Academy Awards. That's a great number of awards, and it won seven of them, um, perhaps the most important ones. It won Best Picture, yeah. Best Screenplay. Let's see, I have the list right here. Best Director, Best Screenplay, Best Feature, Best Actress, Best Supporting Actress, and Best Film Editing. I think it's a very interesting film. It's very raw. It's very honest. It's a woman who's been doing this for about 10 years, is tired, but doesn't know what to do because that's what she's been doing for her 20s. And this is a job that requires a lot of energy. And, and we see her in a transition. Where does life lead her? Trying to figure it out. And I think the lead actress was just so honest and raw in her performance. Uh, I, I think the last 10 minutes of this film are so poignant. Uh, the acting is so, so sharp, so on target. Uh, it, it's quite uh, quite a stirring, stirring conclusion, you know, when all then the reality of her situation finally occurs to her. And um, it, it's quite, quite something to see, I think. It's fantastic. Yeah. Shall uh, we go? Shall let's we go to Athens Midnight Radio. Athens okay. Midnight Radio, written and directed by Renos Haralabidis and starring Renos Haralabidis as an overnight radio disc jockey. So the film is basically him. And you kind of think, well, this is going to be interesting. I'm going to watch this for 90 minutes. And it's one of the loveliest films I've ever seen. Yeah. Akhara Lambidis is a cutting edge uh, director. I think he's the, he's the closest thing Greek cinema has to an auteur. This film is, I think, the quintessential uh, festival film. Um, it, it's, it's, it's just so beautifully written. It's, it's an ode to aging, uh, uh, to romance, 
and uh, to the city of Athens, uh, which uh, absolutely the special love he has for his city. Uh, it, it's just a lovely, lovely film. Makes you think. It's just a, a very quiet, very quiet film. You just want to sit and watch and hear uh, the sentiments that are being expressed. It's it's um, quite quite a lovely achievement. And I might say that uh, this is uh, the United States premiere of the film. We're the first in the country to present it. And, uh, I, I think that's exciting for us. In fact, eight of our nine films are uh, New York premieres. Yeah. Which is, uh, and, which yeah. is really a great accomplishment. Um, but yes, I thought it was a lovely film, a quiet film, introspective. And I think anyone who has reached a certain age and can look back in their youth and, and appreciate the fun they had and the mistakes they had and the loves they had, I think it's going to resonate a great deal. And Enos is sublime. I mean... He's just a joy to watch in this film. The level of acting is extraordinary. Um, this is a, a much anticipated film. It's been a while. He's he's He works constantly in film and television. But as a director, this is his first film in quite, quite a number of years. So people have really been uh, watching and waiting for it. Uh, and I must say, uh, uh, I notice in the Greek newspapers, uh, it, it, word of mouth is helping the film enormously because every week I check it's playing at more cinemas than the previous week. So obviously uh, word is uh, getting out that the film is something unusual and uh, worth, uh, worth taking a look at. I think they call them sleeper hits, right? Yeah, probably. You don't expect it <laughs> right. to, but it, it's it's really. Or at least it, we call it a sleeper hit. I don't know what they call it. Well, I don't know. I wouldn't even attempt the translation. Speaking All right, let's of move. hits, let's move on to Fondisa. Speaking which, of hits, indeed, yes. Which is the second film uh, uh, directed by a woman in the festival, and I must say, it it was the unquestionably the box office. Uh, hit of the of the season in Greece. It's based on um, a classic novel, uh, an early 20th century novel by Alexandros Papadiamandis. And uh, those who know the film, uh, those who know the book and know what to expect of the film, um, those who don't, however, have to be warned, uh, I think. Uh, this is a tough, a tough film to watch. Um, every Every effort has been made to get it right. And they have gotten it right. It's a it's a perfectly made film on a very very tough subject, which Mary, uh, you'll tell us about. I mean, it covers the dowry system. The author of the book uh, in 1920 or so, 1925. Actually, earlier than that. Earlier than that, went ahead, went straight ahead, and attacked the dowry system in Greece and how it made women the property of their first their father and then their husband. And it deals with domestic abuse, feminicide, infanticide. Um, so it is a, a serious film, a difficult film to watch, uh, but one of the highest achieving visually films. Um, it's written by Katerina Bey, um, directed by Eva Nathena, and the lead actress is Cariofilla Carabetti. You know, you know, great performance. Uh, Extraordinary should... performance. It's, and in it fact, transformed. She's totally transformed. Uh, she's totally one transformed. of the most beautiful women in the world, and it's amazing what they've done. Yeah, um, yeah. And she's still not unattractive, to be honest. Um, but it's a very deep, very dark character that she plays, very conflicted, and, and she does it with great skill. Um, that film, uh, Fonisa, won uh, Best Cinematography, which every scene looks like a painting that you could find in a museum. Um, best Production Design, Best Costume Design, and Best Makeup. Um, it is a tough film to watch, but one that left me at least thinking about it overnight, wanting to talk about it the next day. Um, if art is about moving you, this moves you. But there is that trigger warning for people who may find the, to the topic so a bit difficult. Our next film, Guest Star, is much easier to take. Yes. <laughs> uh, uh, this is a uh, satirical, dark comedy by one of our favorite directors, a, a young man that we're very fond of, uh, Vasilis Christofilakis. Uh, again, he... Uh, you know, he wrote the script, he directed the film, he stars in the film. And this is about a kind of a hapless guy, uh, the son of very, very famous actor parents who suddenly uh, and unexpectedly is offered the chance to um, 
to uh, host uh, a TV talk show and uh, just capture the public eye uh, in his own way to make him uh, more attractive to the to the uh, audience. Uh, uh, the powers that be uh, set up a fake love affair between him and a young singer uh, who's got problems of her own. <laughs> and this is pretty much this is pretty much uh, the plot of the film. Uh, you know, he said to me uh, that um, it, when he wrote the script, it was he was uh, uh, he had comic. It was a comic film that he had planned. But uh, as he was filming and also in the editing stages, he found himself cutting out a lot of the a lot of the the comic material and leaving in the more serious material, calling it a dark comedy. A, a dark film. comedy. <laughs> For sure, yeah, exactly. and he's so covers, affable. Covers the the, the genre. Vasily, uh, mm -hmm. as as a human and as an actor, and in his role, he's so affable and so enjoyable to watch. But it is a dark comedy. It's not just chuckles. Absolutely it's, not. It's it's a fun film to watch. Absolutely, it, it it's worth uh, worth your attention. The next is the Last Taxi Driver, I written like, and directed I... by Stelios Pascos. And the leads are Costas Coroneos, Clelia Andriolato, and Marisha Triadafilidu. In case uh, people don't recognize the name, Clelia uh, Andriolato is uh, the young girl from the Netflix uh, series uh, Maestro in Blue. And, and it, she gives a terrific performance here. She was nominated. She didn't win, but she was nominated for Best Actress by the Hellenic Film Academy this year. You know, I think, Mary, this girl, this young woman is on the verge of an international career. Um, and of course, the Netflix exposure it, it will help that. Um, it, this, is, this is a very, very interesting film. Uh, I, I love the, the, it combines elements of film noir and psychological thriller. And, you know, the first 10 minutes of this film are so involving. It just grabs you. And throughout the film, you keep saying, okay, where's this going to go next? What's going to happen next? And, and it, it, it keeps on that, on that, uh, on that uh, uh, path throughout the film. It's a very, very skillfully made movie. And uh, uh, bravo to Sergios Lapascos, who also did uh, the screenplay. I think it's it's a fascinating, fascinating film. Uh, the one thing that I look for, and most people do when we talk about film, when we listen to film pitches, when we read scripts, when we even watch screeners is, and it's it's, most people don't know this because they're not in this position, but we do really look at the first 10 minutes, the first 10 to 20 pages of a script. Um, the first 30 seconds of someone pitching you an idea for a film are the most important because we want the inciting event, the inciting incident, the thing that launches the film um, very early on in those 10 minutes or those 10 pages. And boy, do they accomplish yeah. it here. You yes, are absolutely. Hooked. Yeah. You this know is exactly story, by the what's way. happened and you, you are in. You're like, okay, my seatbelt is buckled, we're going. Yeah. And he maintains the staccato, the speed, um, the editing worked really well. So I think all, all the elements came together. The screenplay was solid. The directing was solid. The editing was great. They and delivered. A don't forget game. the lead performance. Uh, Costas Coroneos uh, is extraordinary. Costas Coroneos, who won again he, in the international section of the, of, the, of the Thessaloniki Festival last November. He was named Best Actor. Uh, uh, the story involves a taxi driver. Uh, who uh, witnesses the suicide of one of his customers. And that, that completely upends his life. Uh, and and that, that's pretty much the basic premise of the film. You know, uh, a life of thwarted ambitions and broken dreams and, and missed opportunities. And he, he, he's just desperate to make up for all, of, all that, that has gone wrong in his life. And... Um, uh, that's basically the, the premise of the film, and it's uh, complete definitely... turmoil while while maintaining a family and 
you know, yeah, maintaining yeah. some normal. Marisha Trianda Filid, who, of course, uh, is an actress we, we're very fond of. Uh, she won uh, a, a number of years ago the Hellenic Film Academy's Best Performance in an, in an Expo film for her role in her job. Um, always, always a fine actress, always, uh, you know, uh, uh, does a good job uh, no matter what she's playing. It, it's, it's really worth uh, the attention. It's worthy of your, your attention. Okay, next up, we have Little Things That Went Wrong. Yeah, this is another film, Mary, that I'm very, very excited about. Uh, I did mean to You stood it. up from that screening and you just said, oh, I love Thano Tokaiki. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, uh, uh, this is a story of uh, two fathers, roughly the same age, uh, on opposite ends of the, of the economic scale. And uh, they don't know one another, but life brings them together in, in a very special way that uh, reveals the, the turmoil in the psyche of each one of these two men. Um, it's a very well acted film and I don't mean to slight any of the other actors, but to watch Tokakis is just thrilling. You know, Mary, as I sat there, the first time I saw it, he reminded me of the young Al Pacino, you know, that same kind of energy and tremendous range. Uh, he's just, it's just a, a, a terrific film. Terrific film. And um, let's mention that favorite. it's written and directed by Haris Bafiadis. Yeah. And um, this is one of Thanos's best performances. The range from, yeah. from you know, dealing with life's challenges and praying for divine intervention, hoping that it'll set his life straight um, to the most ridiculous moments of laughter so just when when you think wow this is this is serious they break it up and they make give you a funny scene or something ridiculous that is so surreal that balances the whole thing out and it's fantastic uh, you know Thanos told me that he loves to play losers and this guy well, the, the character in this film is absolutely just the most astonishing loser you you've ever encountered um, well, I would say but, losers but and bad pathos. guys, right? Yeah, there, there's a pathos, and you feel for him. Uh, he's so misguided and so lost uh, that you it's feel. So, but he intends, like his intention is so good, so so. Yeah, worthy. it's all right to 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 endear himself to his daughter, to right. uh, and just regain some some dignity in his life. It's um, yeah, it, it's just a a, a a very very interesting film. Highly recommended. And although they didn't win, they were nominated and in the Hellenic Academy Awards for Best Actor, yeah. Best Feature Film, and Best Screenplay. The, the competition was very, uh, very difficult this year. And every year, the level of Greek cinema gets higher and higher and higher, which is wonderful. Yeah. Um, but I it, think film, know, acting, film acting in particular has reached a very, very high level of achievement. And that's yeah. that's that's wonderful to see. You know, we've been doing this a long time, and we've seen the Greek industry, such as it is, grow. And uh, uh, clearly, that's one area where great advances have been made. The next is the promotion, uh, written and directed by Periklis Hursoglu, um, starring Alexandros Logothetis and Vasilis Kolovos. Outstanding film, extraordinary. Uh, I mean, it's just lovely, lovely, lovely. Yeah, and good. I would be remiss in mentioning that there's a great cameo by Vagelio Andrea Daiki, who will be receiving our Lifetime Achievement Award at the festival this year. So she will she's be Mrs. Mrs. She's Mrs. Hursoglu, by the way. Yes. And, 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 you know, Hursoglu is, is an important director. Uh, he's made some very, very fine films. And he's been away from filmmaking for 15 years. He gave up. Uh, making movies and was teaching filmmaking in, at the university in Thessaloniki. And um, having retired there, he's just now beginning to, uh, to uh, make films again. And it's a welcome comeback. Uh, this is a film about a professor who uh, asks his father, his elderly father, to travel with him from Athens to Thessaloniki to attend um, a promotion ceremony where uh, the professor will be elevated to a higher rank. And uh, the trip becomes uh, an opportunity for the two to uh, uh, just sharpen their relationship and achieve uh, some kind of cathartic healing. Uh, it, it, it's a 
it's it's a lovely lovely film. Uh, Mary, you know, the, there's a plot twist uh, at the uh, toward the end of the film. Well, and let's not I, ruin it. No, no, I won't. But you know, I'm always. I'm, I'm I'm always suspicious of of that technique. You know, usually it, it it turns out to be the twist is gimmicky and an easy way out for the director. Not but here. Not here. Uh, not here. The, the surprising twist toward the end of the film adds such depth uh, and and feeling to the film. It's just masterfully handled, and I I, I must admit it brought it it, it brought me to tears uh it's just me too uh, and i wasn't yeah, expecting it because the twist happened so quickly and i just found myself out yeah, of you, do, I didn't you know see following it a film did you see just, it coming mary did you i see didn't it see it coming no. at all well now we're ruining it for everyone no, well we're not we're not saying what it is and and it's just uh, but I think, I think i think we're all gonna feel have the feels about it yeah you know if it you shows watch the film there's no way that you are unmoved yeah, it shows the skill of a master filmmaker. I mean, this man knows what he's doing. Absolutely. He knows how to how to manipulate the audience and and how to use his actors. And very impressive film. Next up, we've got the Rhapsodist. From the um, sublime to the ridiculous, Mary. What can we say? <laughs> so the writer is Prometheus Alifer or Aliferopoulos, as he's known in Greece. Yeah, and by the way, also a, a noted actor. Uh, Absolutely. Agency. He's fantastic. Directed by Nikolai Hammer, uh, Hamill. And the leads are Prometheus Alifer, Thanos Tokaikis, and uh, Natalia Swift. I should mention it won uh, the Thessaloniki Film Festival uh, Youth Jury Award. Let me this tell is you. A, this is a young people's movie, don't you think, Mary? I think. Yes, it's but a... like, if you're into like the farcical, if you're into the guessing, Let's put it this way. Thana Tokaiki makes his presence. If you haven't noticed, we were talking a lot about Thana Tokaiki. He's in two of our films this year, and he's also going to be the host of our festival. Um, the minute Thana steps on screen, the entire audience burst into laughter. I've rarely seen such a unanimous explosion of laughter, but he's that amazing, and he's that different, and he's the range is extraordinary between the two films. Coincidentally, it um, little things that went wrong is our opening night film, and the Rhapsodist closes our Manhattan run of films. And having uh, Thano bookend is just fantastic because he's so different. But the Rhapsodist is a kaleidoscope of nuts. It, it's it's a it's a doctor's tour de force. I mean, anything goes, and they really take advantage of that. You know, Mary, it's very interesting. I think you know this. The director of the film. Uh, is actually an American. He speaks no Greek at all. So right, I, can Nikolai. you imagine what the set must have been like? How did they do that? I just, well, we're going to find out. Nikolai yeah. is going to be here and we're going to talk to him about what it was like directing a film when you didn't speak the language and also trusting your partner, in this case Prometheus, to such a degree that he will convey the same sentiment in another language. And the film is both English and Greek. Obviously, the Greek part has English subtitles. And it's just fun. It's just a buckle up and go. It's just fun. Yeah. It's a little it's usual suspect. Zany. Zany, I think, is it, the right adjective. You know, it's like, I just thought it's bright. It's fun. It's poppy. I just thought of, you know, when you were little and you had those kaleidoscopes that you would move around and see all the colors. That's how I felt watching this film. Last but never least... Uh, a wonderful documentary about Yanis Panos behind the marquee, directed by Aris Dorizas. If you love Greek music, this is the film you want to see. It's almost two hours of, of nonstop music. Uh, Yanis Panos was uh, one of the beloved uh, composers of Greece and uh, very, very prolific. Uh, you have been, uh, if you if you listen to Greek music, you've probably been hearing and humming his tunes uh, for years. And uh, and uh, so many songs that performed by a, a virtual who's who in Greek popular music. Uh, uh, Spanos was a, a, a very quiet man. Uh, apparently the director uh, was telling me that uh, he was reluctant to, to even uh, allow a film to be made. He said, no, my, let my music speak for me. Uh, uh, but somehow uh, uh, the director prevailed and the film was made. 
And uh, finally, toward the end of the film, uh, Spanos opens up and it, it's sort of very revealing uh, uh, what he says about himself and the, his his uh, his view of Greek music. It, it's, it's a wonderful film. And uh, I guarantee you're going to come out of the theater singing. Uh, I, I'm sure of that. Absolutely. I come from a musical home. We love music. So for me, it was music from my childhood, my adolescence, and, and songs I'd never heard before or didn't know that Spanos had written them. What I found the most uh, interesting were his times outside of Greece, his work in Paris, all his yes. influence on foreign artists and musicians. And then, of course, you can't help but be influenced yourself. And so bringing it back to Greece and bringing Greek music to the forefront of an international stage. It's a very well-made documentary um, with wonderful interviews. And of course the music, yeah. it, it, you really, it connects you in a different way to, to your Greek heritage. Right. And if you're not Greek, you're gonna like it anyway. The music is so lovely that everyone can enjoy it. Absolutely. Yeah. So I think Mary, that that's about it. We, we have a, uh, uh, we have quite, as we said at, at the beginning, we have quite a, a varied selection and a very interesting uh, list of films uh, that are worth seeing. They're all in Greek with English subtitles. And, um, you know, I hope that people will come to see them and uh, ultimately share our excitement and our enthusiasm for these uh, for the work uh, on, on screen. And uh, uh, let's hope that uh, we have a good festival. I know we're going to have a great festival. In fact, I know we have many guests coming from Greece. We have many guests. Most actors. of the films have someone coming, whether it's the director or one of the actors will be with us. In our Manhattan wonderful Street. Q&As, um, the Lifetime Achievement Award, of course, to Vagelio Andrea Daiki, whose exceptional career merits this and more. Um, and not to be remiss, our festival dates are October 3rd to October 13th, the first weekend in Manhattan at Village East, a midweek stop in Fort Lee, New Jersey on Tuesday and Wednesday of that week. Then uh, the a Barrett final Hill stop Center. for the weekend at the Museum of Moving Image. Uh, that's Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. We look forward to seeing you there. We know you're gonna love these films. We enjoyed selecting them for you. And again, we're bringing you the freshest baked goods that Greece has to offer. And we've been doing it all spring, actually. It's a moment of pride um, that we've been premiering films here in New York before they actually premiere in Greece. So we are on the forefront of the pulse of the Greek film industry and that's a proud moment to have. Absolutely. Thank you for listening and uh, we'll see you at the movies, we hope. <laughs> with two thumbs up. Oh, that's right, you keep me with that theme. Siskel and Ebert, yeah. <laughs> Bye everyone, thank you. Take care.